Hey everybody, this is Robert here. I'm back with another video. This time I'm going to review this. It's called the U80 Smartwatch. And it's it's very cheap. It's a very cheap uh, smartwatch. And you can get it from the website gearbest.com. I think they even have some on Amazon. But I've had it for about three weeks to a month now and I'm ready to review it. First thing you know is a silicone wristband. So if if you're allergic to silicone, you probably don't want to buy it. But I'm not, so it works fine. And it has a speaker that runs via Bluetooth that you could uh, play music via Bluetooth. Okay. Um, has three buttons as well as a touch screen. All right. So let's check out the sound. So this is what it looks like. It has a calendar, a calculator, and of course the time. And a pedometer as well. I haven't got much of a chance to test the pedometer that much. It takes a while to get going to get it going. I'll talk a little bit more about that later in the video. So, how much did it cost? Let's go through the pros and cons of this cheap smartwatch. The cost is a, is obviously the pro. So it, it costs eight dollars plus if you add about a dollar and some change and for insurance to from the China warehouse. Yes, I know it's it's from it's from the warehouse in China, but it goes through the Netherlands. It took me about um almost a month after I ordered it for it to get to get to Florida so so that would be kind of a con okay the next pro is it well it has a touch screen as a touch screen you can go here right there and I just charged it this morning this is the charging port right here it's a micro USB so you can just all you need is a micro USB to USB in fact it came with the cable like this here's the micro USB part there's the standard USB you can connect it to a computer or to a power brick. And it has a speaker. Which so you really you can you can use any micro USB to USB cable. So for Android for Android smartphone users, your regular charging cable works. As I said earlier, it has a silicone band. And there it is on my wrist. And now there's a few cons as well. We'll get to it. Um, has a speaker. I use Bluetooth to stream. I have my iPod Touch here. I'm going to turn on Bluetooth. 
on both devices. It should be connected. Now let's uh, see if we can get some music going. Okay, well it says it's connected, so let's do something. So it uses Bluetooth to stream and control music, and you can control the music through using the watch. And it was also recommended by a YouTuber named uh, um, Keaton on on TechSmart. So. So let's do uh, yeah. and it's right on the watch so as you can see that it works Yeah. I don't know if you can hear it though. But the music's coming th through my watch via Bluetooth. And you can control it right here. Yeah, so, so yeah, you, as you can see, it was controlled by the watch. So, and, and another good thing is that it has less than two hours of charge time, so it doesn't take very long to charge up. Now, let's go to the cons. First off, you, you have to push the button to wake, to wake the watch and show the time, which is kind of a bummer. You can't touch the screen to, to wake the watch to uh, wake the watch so yeah it's not so that's kinda of where they're cutting costs that's why it's uh, that's why it's so cheap so you, so you have to push the button to show the time like that and and when you're doing Bluetooth streaming, it uses up more battery than really needed, than really necessary. And so, um, it, it, it runs out quick, quickly. So the ba what's the battery life like? Well, it's up to 16 hours per charge without Bluetooth. If you don't use Bluetooth, then it'll go up about 16 hours. If you do use Bluetooth, 
he advised it'll probably go like 10 to 12 hours with with Bluetooth. Um, and one other thing I found out about um, about it, and going back to the pedometer that I talked about before, pedometer the pedometer only works when it's in the foreground and on the screen. That means if I need to go check the calendar or or do a calculation, I can't do that because the pedometer will stop. Other than that. I haven't found much any anything else. It it has a rest status time. You can access your phone book and you can even dial on your like Android's phone and what I just showed you on the, with the music is it, the music works with both iOS and Android. Although the watch is very has limited functionality with iOS. So it's mostly for Android users. But if you have iOS and really don't want to do much, just uh, you just need a watch to like pl play music and via Bluetooth, or even do a alarm clock, calendar, calculator. This is this is perfect watch. Well, not perfect, but it is a good watch. So you can access your text messages, your calls, and you can even dial out use, as long as you have your phone with you. It has anti-loss and uh, power save. And even it even has a sleep monitor, and it'll tell you when you need to drink water. So, uh, and one more thing, it has three buttons be below the touch screen. So, let me show it here. Actually, I'm going to take it off. So, alright, this button right here is the back button. This button is the menu. This button, I haven't figured out what it, what it is. Oh. So this button actually gets you straight to the dialer to if you need to dial. Other than that, that's all for the video for today. And hope you have a wonderful day. And it, it's fall. And enjoy the fall weather. And for you not uh, you in, in the Niceville area, I just want to let you know that the Mullet Festival which is our annual fall festival every year, is going to be the 21st through the 23rd. So I may actually go. I may actually go on the 23rd. So other than that, and I think it's like ten ten dollars on Friday, fifteen dollars on Saturday, and then ten dollars on Sunday. So, all right. Well, have a great day. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.